Hi everyone, uh, my name is Josie and I'm an environmental educator at the Kettle Creek Environmental Education Center and I'm here today to talk to you about going on a micro hike. Um, this is a really great activity to do right at home in your backyard or if you can access um, a forested area uh, like the one I'm in today, uh, that's a really great spot to do it too. Um, and this is a really cool activity to do with young kids, um, usually about maybe like preschool age or so. Um, it's kind of a cool discovery activity and also a really good focusing activity um, if you're outside and they've already got some energy out. Um, so a micro hike is basically um, exploring a really, really, really small area and trying to see all the really incredible biodiversity that you can find in just one tiny space. Now today, since I'm in the woods, I wanted to do a micro hike of a rotting log. So let's see uh, our example that we have today. Now pretty much anywhere you go in a forested area in Pennsylvania, you're going to find a rotting log. And I picked this one in particular because it's already kind of really decomposed, really broken up into pieces. Uh, so I won't feel too guilty if I kind of flip things over a little bit and explore inside uh, since it's already really broken down. Um, so let's take a peek. So the first thing I might do is just have a little look on the outside. And if I'm with a group of little kids, I might say something like, well, how do you think this tree died? Um, and how long do you think it's been dead? Um, also, do you see any signs of life? Are there plants living on this dead log? Are there any signs of animals living on this dead log? Right? Um, so if I'm looking at the top, maybe I'll look for evidence of something that's been here using this as a little dinner table, right? So maybe a little squirrel or chipmunk that's been eating some seeds. Um, I see all sorts of really cool moss growing on this and you might even find neat little pieces of the moss, little spores sticking up that are really fun to explore. Sometimes you might even find really teeny, teeny, tiny little mushrooms and kids really love those. Um, but let's go ahead and roll it over and take a peek at what we find. Oh, awesome. So we already found two salamanders. And, oh, and I see a tiny little baby salamander too. You can see there's a roly-poly bug rolling away. That's really cool. Now the salamanders, I see, I see three here right in this shot. So I think we've actually got uh, three redback salamanders. And obviously you can see why they're named redback salamanders. Um, this one over here on the right is also a redback salamander. Um, they do have a different phase. I believe it's called the leadback phase. Um, and so, although uh, they look a little different, they are the same species. And then if you look way down there, you can see a very teeny tiny little, uh, probably a little juvenile one there too. And I've got some type of beetle hanging out here. Lots of different kinds of fungus you can see growing. Now, I'm sure if we keep digging around, we'll find lots of other types of decomposers. So um, maybe some other types of beetles, uh, maybe some types of centipedes, some kind of millipedes. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of really cool stuff that you can find just under one little rotting log. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, be a very good steward of the environment and caretaker of animals. And I'm going to really gently uh, replace the log uh, exactly the way that I found it. That way I'm not disturbing somebody's habitat too, too much. Um, so as you can see, all I did was explore this pretty small, uh, you know, maybe three foot wide little log here and already found tons of really cool stuff. Um, so I'm going to keep exploring and I'm going to share some photos of some of the stuff that I find. And hopefully you guys can use this video to uh, take your kids out and do a little exploring on your own. Um, I'm sure they will love it. And if you do find some really cool stuff, please feel free to share your photos um, in the comments below. We would love to find out what you guys are doing at home to stay connected to nature. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day.